Hey Crafty Cuties, I hope you guys are doing lovely. If you're new, I'm Jessica. I make lots of journaling videos here on Paper Terrace. I would love for you to subscribe if you like my content and leave me a message if you're new so I can say hello. Okay, so today we're just gonna craft together. We're making a really simple project and we are going to be making little botanical book page tags. You can do the same idea with any book pages, scrapbook paper, or just whatever you have laying around. But the fun thing is, is we're going to customize and make our own hole reinforcers, which is just really, really simple. So um, yeah, what I have today, I have a book that I'm gonna use the book pages out of. I have a paint sample card to go with the theme that I have been doing lately of just like simplicity. Um, and then I have a 5 eighths of an inch hole punch, a standard size hole punch to make the hole reinforcers. And then I have some ink that I am loving, fossilized amber. And I think we're gonna also use our stapleless stapler today. Um, again, we're gonna keep this just super simple, but you can do, you know, you can decorate yours however you want and you can really do a whole lot more, but hopefully this base idea will inspire you. I'm just gonna open up here and we're gonna start by some book pages. Now, I have been doing mine kind of sideways just so I could get the most of the paper and use it all up. If you, if that's something that bothers you, like the direction, you know, feel free to make yours the right side up. Um, like this one looks like that would be really easy to do, but some of the book pages just don't work well and I just don't really stress about it. I think they look really cute in the end and I'd probably end up adding some decorations to them anyways when I actually use them in my journal. But so yeah, to get started, I'm not gonna really measure. I just kinda wanna see where halfway point is because again, I just wanna make the most out of my book pages here and use up the entire page. So I'm gonna cut these into fours, obviously depending on what size your book page is or paper is, you can decide what size you'd like. And then again, I just kinda wanna see like where the halfway point is. You could do some really little fancy tops to these tags, but as always, I'm just gonna keep it quite simple. And I like to just start by, uh, and you know what? I'm realizing this side right here, it's not perfectly straight, but in these projects, I don't really worry about it being perfect. Again, if that bothers you, you can you know straighten yours up, but I sort of like how it looks when it's just a little more organic, I guess you could say. Okay, I'm gonna take the little uh, corner that I chopped off and take it off and flip it over. Whoopsies, it's little. I gotta do that again here. Silly little guy. Okay, you know what? It doesn't wanna be with us, so we're not gonna be with it. We'll just eyeball it. I could mess with this for ever to try to get it perfect, but I'm not really gonna worry about that. I was trying to get this one a little bit more perfect so that I could use this as a guide for the rest of them, but and I think that looks good enough. And then I just like to take a bunch of them since they're all relatively the same size, line them up and then you can cut like this. That way you can just make a few at once. I think I can get the rest of them. I'm excited to use my little stapleless stapler. If you haven't seen me use that, I have a full like video review and I'll try to link it below if I remember. Um, but I just have so many like little tools and things and I just haven't like seen it lately. So today I was cleaning up a bit and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to use this more because I really like the effect. Okay. We got our corners. So I think next what we're gonna do is make our little hole reinforcers. We have our tags basically done. So what I am going to do is I want to make my own hole reinforcers. There's a few different ways that you can do this. I like to leave uh, the numbers and words on these, by the way, but remember you can use any scrapbook paper you have or 
Um, you can use like white paper and color it with ink if you want a specific color, which is nice. So you can use your little hole punch like that and then glue it on just as a full circle onto your tag. You know, get the placement just right. And then <laughs> you take your normal size hole punch. That's not quite in the middle. That's okay. And then you punch a hole in what looks like the center. There you go. And then you have your hole reinforcers. But another way you can do this, um, I was actually just recently showing my Patreon members this way is to just punch a bunch of holes, but giving yourself, oh, that might be a little too far out of the page. Give yourself enough space that you can take your hole punch and go around. So again, I just eyeball it, but then you can do a bunch of them pretty quick. But the thing about this one is that then you will have to punch the hole into your um, book page as well. But now you've seen a few options. This one's just nice because you can make a bunch of them up at once, if that makes sense. Oh no, I moved you guys. And then this one I do find a little trickier because you have to get that glue just right. You know, it's a little messier, I think. So I just wanted to give you all of the options though. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do it the way I prefer is just by the circles like that. Decide, and you can decide which side you want to be the front. Although if you want, you can also put a whole re reinforcer on each side. And actually that might be kind of a cute look. Let's try that out. You'll have to line them up <clears throat> pretty, you know, close. But the thing about this, so I would choose two that are full circles for this because then it won't have to be exact for the middle hole, but you can kind of see through. And I just realized some of you might want to know exactly what this book is called. So let me give you a better look. I think I got it from thriftbooks.com and it is Eastern North America's wildflowers. Hopefully that will help you. And it is by Lewis C. Lynn. There we go. Okay, so now that we have our circles on each side, hopefully close enough, we could take our circle. Yeah, that, I mean, it's not perfect, but that's kind of a cute way to have one on each side. You know what I mean? Okay, you need to make sure to press these down, or it's good to have like a heavy book on them to help them dry. And I don't mind covering up a bit of the image here because again, I'm not really going for perfection with these. I think they end up looking just super cute. And this is kind of where I left them off for my Patreon members. I always want to send like finished products, but at the same time, I want to inspire my members to you know, maybe take something and make it their own. So I feel like if I have an almost finished project that might inspire them to be like, oh, I want to add lace to this, or maybe this would look fun with a little spot for journaling and add like a label. So I think these would also look really cute with sewing around the edges and that would really finalize it as well, in my opinion. But I do also like to give you guys ideas that don't involve a sewing machine because we don't all have one, I know. Okay, we are almost done with this part. And like I said, we can leave them like this, but just to experiment a little bit with you guys, I think what I'm going to do next, ink goes a long way, I think, in finishing off a project, but I thought it would be fun to use this. And if you guys have one of these, um, then you probably know that it works best on like thinner paper or um, like, it, especially if you're gonna staple a few things together, 
then it's best to have like a few pieces of paper that aren't too thick. So for this, if you've never seen this, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it almost gives just like a textured, like perforated edge. And you can staple things together with this, which is why it's called the stapless stapler. But I'm just gonna go around the edges as kind of a sewing illusion. And, and again, I could go like, you see, I'm leaving space, so that might not exactly look like a sewing um, mark, but whoops, I'm just having fun with it. It would take me a while to do the entire thing. Of course, if you're only making a few, then I think it would be cute. But I want to get through and show you what I'm, how I'm going to make this appear a little bit more by using ink. Yes, I have to keep this out of my desk though, because like I said, I've been forgetting to use it. And I'm sure you guys do that as well when you buy like new products and things. Okay. Now I wanna do this to a few more, but just to get through one final thing, I'm gonna take my ink here. And first I'm just gonna kinda of go around the edge like that. Yeah, this really adds a lot, I think. So then with a little leftover, I think if you kind of lightly bring the ink up just a little bit so that it can kind of go over the perforation marks, that does kind of make it more obvious. And I'll hold it up to the camera in just a moment. Yeah, this is just such a simple, Simple idea, but I really like how it turns out. So I hope that you guys can see that. And let's finish this off with some lace. I'm not gonna finish all of these because you kind of get the idea. I just have a little piece of lace here from Taper Lodgy. I had like a little assorted pack. And of course, if you ever wanna shop from Taper Lodgy, you can use my code Paper Terrace, all one word. I'll try to remember to put that down below and you can get 15% off. But anyways, look how cute that is. I really like it. I hope that you guys do, or maybe you got inspired to, you know, use some book pages. Music paper would also look really cute with this simple project. And it would be easy to make a bunch of these up and then just have them on hand for journals or any kind of crafting, even like a gift, something like this would look cute. You could add like, I already have ideas. Um, if this was for a gift, um, you could, let's see, even though this is kind of big, um, I could fold it in half. I think this would look really cute. And use this on kind of like on the side, which is a little bit you wouldn't expect, but I'm just doing that because it works best with this image or illustration, I should say, like that. And then you could write your little message right there. Oh, that looks so cute. I love that with the labels. Definitely gonna add to some of these. So yeah, it's amazing how just a, a little touch can really add something or finalize it, you know? So we'll like put this one I kind of like how it's not just like in an obvious spot. And for this one, we can ink it up. There we go. We could even just do a few of these little marks. <laughs> See, I could keep going. It's just a really fun, simple little project. So if you're looking for something simple, I, I really hope that you will try something like this today if you're looking for an easy project and let me know if you did it even go ahead and tag me on instagram if you make some and you can post a picture i would love to see thank you guys for hanging out with me today i hope you have a really lovely day and i'll see you later bye